back in annual tradition returns to East Nashville this weekend. The Tomato Art Fest is back today and tomorrow. I'm now joined by Councilman Brett Withers with more on what it all includes. Good morning. We appreciate you being here. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So, so tell us about the, the Tomato Fest and like it's been going on for several years, you said. It has been going on for several years. Uh, it actually started with Art and Invention Gallery, mm -hmm. which was located there uh, in the Five Points area. And uh, they kind of threw an art event and it really took off and it's uh, grown seemingly every year since then. So, so how does it combine art and tomatoes? Well, the, originally there was uh, sort of an art uh, competition mm -hmm. for tomato themed art and that was a centerpiece of it. And of course, art still is uh, a, a big component. Um, one of my favorite events is the uh, the uh, parade that'll happen mm -hmm. in the morning. That'll kick off at 9 a.m. and people will put together costumes and themed floats and just all sorts of fun, creative things like that. So there's a lot of visual art like that. Mm -hmm. We have uh, lots of music tonight. Uh, the, the stage is open, I think, at 5.30. Um, the closing act is East Nashville and Aaron Lee Tazjan, whom I'm excited to see. Mm -hmm. Lots of uh, concerts tomorrow as well. So all different kinds of art. Uh, yeah. pet, pet contest, dress your dog up as a tomato. Wow. You name it. Something uh, for everybody. Something for everybody. There is a sandwich competition for mm. tomato sandwiches. Of course, the Bloody Mary returns. Mm. Um, and one thing that's different this year is um, they have a commemorative pin that we're okay. hoping people will, it will become a new tradition, but nice. the pin, I would describe it as being like an astronaut with a boom box okay for those of us who remember the 80s <laughs> okay. um, before you had an iPhone that had all your music on it um, but so that's a commemorative pin this year and I think they'll have that every year going yeah. forward so be a nice little throwback yeah so we're looking at the videos and we saw there are a lot of people that come out there we've been talking about COVID-19 the cases going up what kind of precautions are you taking there and, and are you concerned about the virus possibly spreading at the event well um, of course safety is a concern um, the festival isn't necessarily a requiring masks but strongly encouraging them. Okay. When you go into the gates there will be masks available, hand sanitizer, a lot of surfaces that are sanitized. Um, one thing also that really helps with this event is that it is primarily outdoors. Mm -hmm. There will be you know some service inside restaurants and things like that but it's primarily outdoors and so that is a little bit safer environment for people to gather. I definitely still encourage people to wear a mask in large gatherings even outdoors um, but we we want people to do whatever they feel they need to do to be safe mm -hmm. but please come out uh, however however you can do that and and join in the fun. So you said it was virtual last year back in person this year uh, and it's been going on in East Nashville. What do you what do you think it means for people in that community to have an event like this there? You know, this has always been such a real gathering place for the East Nashville community to mm -hmm. sort of show off the quirky and creative mm -hmm. vibe in our community, and, and it's so great to have it back. Um, the, it, it, the sense of camarader camaraderie that you get, um, even like I said, just really friendly competitions that are really fun, uh, that, that will really help uh, a lot of the artists in the community, mm -hmm. um, also the, the small businesses that have been struggling both from the tornado recovery mm -hmm. as well as COVID. Mm -hmm. It'll be a, a chance to get out and support some of those businesses, too, and give them a little bit of a boost. Good. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Councilman, and talking about this. Sounds like a very, very fun event. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's send things over to Megan.